Hi guys, it's Sammy again. Welcome to learn how to play the piano. So this is the third video in my sec uh, series of piano basics. So in the, in the last two videos, we talked about how to sit at the piano, high and low sounds, and we even talked about right hand notes, the notes on spaces, the notes in la on lines, and we talked about the staff, treble clef, bass clef. So in this video, we'll be covering the left hand notes on lines and spaces, and we'll be doing a little recap of the right hand notes and I'm going to be showing it on the piano how, um, how it works and I'm going to be playing a song for you okay so let's get started so as last time I'm going to be drawing the notes so okay so this is our bass clef as you already know so th um, there are five lines in the staff so one two three four, five. And there are four spaces on the staff. That is one, two, three, four. Okay? So now there are lines on, uh, there are notes on lines and there are notes in the spaces. Same as right hand. So the saying for left hand for the notes on lines is good bikes don't fall apart. So let me just write in the notes. Okay, so good bikes don't fall apart. Hopefully you can see it, but it's too messy. But you just have to see the, these notes. So good bikes don't fall apart. So the first note on the line is G, as it's the first letter and the first word. So that's G. And... The second note on the second line is B, um, as in bikes, the first letter of bikes, because it's the second word and the first letter of second word is B. Uh, so the note is B. And now the third note on the third line is D, because good bikes don't. So the third word is don't, and the first letter of the third word is D, and that goes with the third note on the third line. Okay, so this is F, okay, as in the for, uh, the fourth word of the first, the fourth word and the first letter of the fourth word is F. So this is F on the fourth line, the note on the fourth line. So this is our last note, the fifth note, which is A, as in the uh, apart. So good bikes don't fall apart. So that's the fifth word and the first letter of the fifth word is a and so that's the first the fifth note the fifth note on the fifth line is a now we'll be moving on to the notes in spaces so there are four notes that are in spaces so right here 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 and here the saying for this is all cows eat grass simple so all cows eat grass okay so this is all the first note in the first space is a so from the first word a so this is a this is c from cows the first word first letter of cows now we have the the third note which is in the third space which is e from eat eat is the third word uh, in the saying and in the four, fifth one the fifth note is g okay so g from grass that's the last word so these are the notes in lines and spaces so we'll review what we learned in the last video which is for right hand notes so for the saying for the right hand notes on lines is every good boy does fine and for the spaces is F A C E face. So if you want more detail on the right hand notes, go and watch my other video, my second video. So now I will be showing it on the piano. First, we'll start out with the right hand notes that are on the lines. So this here, right here in the middle C. So middle C is right here. And then that is D. So E 
which is online, for, it's a, which is written online for writing. And so this is E. Next note that is written online for writing is G. And the third note that is written on the line uh, for right hand is B. And uh, the last uh, and the fourth note that is written, written on the line for right hand is D. And the last note that is written on the line for right hand is F. So E, D, B, D, and F. Dot R. The right hand notes online. So now we'll be talking about the right hand notes that are written in the spaces. So F, A, C, E. As you, uh, if you can remember, or I just showed it. So for the right hand notes that are written on the line, the first one is E. Okay, uh, right here. But for the first um, note written, written in, in the spaces for right hand note is F. So it's right beside. So E, B, C are the notes written on the lines. But there is a note left in the middle. Okay, these are alternated. The lines on the notes on lines are alternated. So E, G, B, D, F. But the notes that are written in the spaces are right between these uh, the notes in the that are written on the line. So F A C E. Okay. Now we will be talking about the notes that are written on the lines for left hand notes. So right here, G B G B D F. A, so G, B, G, B, D, A. Okay, good bikes don't fall apart. Okay, and then for the notes in the spaces for left hand is all cows eat grass. So A, C, E, G. So A, C, E, G. All cows eat grass. Okay, now I'm going to be playing a little song that involves both right hand and left hand notes. So if you remember these notes, so it will be easier for you to play notes like this, which are written on the staff. This is a real song. It's called A Happy Song. So this is in the C position for both hands. Uh, if you don't know what C position is, uh, go back and watch my first video. Okay. So it start off the left hand in the bass clef, so If you uh, if you can see right here, there are different there, the notes are different written uh, differently. So there is this note which which has a hole, meaning it's not filled in like these notes, and it has a line. For this, everything everything else has lines, and it's not filled in, and it doesn't have a line. If you wonder what they are, so watch my next video that talks about whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes, and even counting. So. These notes return here without without it, it's being filled in or without those lines. It will be explained in the next video. So if you didn't understand this video or if I was too fast, um, you can review this video once more and I'll be linking the Google Slides from the other video with the updated um, left hand notes uh, written in there. So you can uh, go through that video, uh, go through those slides. And you can understand it better. Uh, if you still don't understand, then post a, your question in the comments section below. And I'll hopefully try to answer it in the next video. Or I'll just answer it right there. Okay? So hopefully you're liking my video. So please share, subscribe, or like my video. So that will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you. Have a good day.